Hey guys, welcome to the Wicked Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the best holiday dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Sunday roast, whatever you wanna call it, because you can have it any day you want. With super crispy tofu turkey, some roasted vegetables, the most amazing mashed potato, and this gravy is the best ever king mushroom gravy you're ever gonna have. So look forward to it, let's do it. All right, for this recipe, we're gonna need two packs of the king oyster mushrooms. We sell these into the packs of three. So we're gonna use those three packs. I'm gonna use smoked tofu today for the, for the turkey part. And that's an extra firm smoked tofu. And then we have five or six potatoes that we're gonna make the mashed out of. And for veg, we'll use broccoli and some fine green beans I've already picked. So let's just get right into it. So we're gonna start with the mashed potatoes. This is really easy, and I like to not peel the potatoes. I know some people do. If you want it super clean, um, definitely peel them, but for me, I'd, we're just not gonna peel them today. So I just cut them into sixth. Definitely wash the potatoes, and then put them into uh, cold water. So I have a pot already going with the cold water in it. So once the potatoes are in the water, this will be a garlic mashed potato. So I have about mm, six cloves of garlic and just a quick rough chop. And just add that right to the water. I like to add a pinch of salt on a medium high heat. Just heat that up until it starts to boil. All right guys, so the uh, <laughs> The, great, the mushrooms are on, the mushrooms, the, potato, the mashed potatoes are going, and we're gonna start, get right into the gravy. So I like to time this dish so everything is done around the same time, and this, these are the longest items to cook, so. All right, so we've seen the shredding technique in other videos, and you can check out these links over here. Um, so quickly, this is how we do it. So. What this is gonna do is create the effect of having like a, a traditional turkey gravy that we used to have. But with all these strands, we'll have it through the gravy. It'll give it some nice texture. The flavor is like off the charts delicious. It's one of my favorite things. So you're just gonna do this with each of the mushrooms and I take the tops and just break them up as well. And we'll add this to the bowl. So again with the shredding, can just get right into it, or you can hand pull them. And just repeat that process for all of them. So after you shred the mushrooms, heat up a cast iron pan, medium high heat, till it's really hot, wicked hot, ripping hot, whatever, just it has to be really hot. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. Not too much, a couple tablespoons. And then we'll add the mushrooms right to it. So we're going to add the Wicked Kitchen traditional flavored. It's uh, sage, onion, and garlic flavored. I like to call it traditional seasoning. As this is cooking, I'm just going to add a, a healthy amount, probably tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. We'll get that going. A little bit of pepper. And a pinch of salt. So we're gonna let this cook down, stir it a little bit. What we're looking for is it start to browning. All the mushrooms will start to wilt and then we'll start crisping them up and we'll finish them off in the oven. So this is gonna go into the gravy. All right, while the mushrooms are cooking, we'll start the gravy. So for the gravy, I'm gonna have a nice medium sized pot and I'm gonna get that going on medium heat. I'm gonna add the butter. It's a healthy amount of butter. Remember, this is gravy. We're trying to go as traditional as possible. And as that's melting down, I'm gonna add the onions to it. Mm 
So after you sear the mushrooms a little bit, because we're in a cast iron pan, I'm gonna pop this right into the oven. I preheated the oven 200 degrees Celsius on fan. So again, for my US friends, that's 400 degrees uh, on convection. And we're gonna pop that in to brown them off a little bit and get back to the gravy. All right, so once the butter has melted and the onions are in there, you can see it from above. It's really starting to boil up a little bit. I'm gonna add, start adding a little bit of the, the flour. So we're starting off with a couple tablespoons. So we're got, this is making the roux, okay? So you can see it pulls in together and you wanna whisk it in. Here's where you wanna really pay attention because you don't want it to burn, but I do want it to cook out a little bit. So this is what's gonna give that gravy the nice thickness. So I'll move to a wooden spoon and just stir this around. And we're just gonna keep an eye on it and cook it down a little bit before we add some water. So at this point, I'm gonna add some more of the sage, onion, garlic, the flavors that I want out of the gravy. I'm gonna add a good amount, so it's probably, you know, looking at a tablespoon or so. Stir that in. I'm gonna add a little bit of the extra onion. I have some fresh sage here. All right, so that roux is really looking good. It's starting to brown up nice. And just make sure you pay attention to this and constantly stir it. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of water. And as we're adding the water, just stir that in. So this is where you wanna avoid any lumps. So I want to make sure it's all getting incorporated. So you want to just whisk while you're adding the water and watch how thick it is. So it will thicken as you cook it. So we'll have a, a little bit of water on the side here. I am going to add a bay leaf. So it's really thickening up, like as you let it sit in that water, it thickens up nicely. You want to make sure it doesn't burn. That's the biggest thing about gravy, is, is the lumps in it and it burning. You don't want either one of those. So at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of bouillon, just like a tablespoon. Stir that in. the rest of the water. So trick for colored, the gravy is usually nice and brown, is they have this browning, gravy browning liquid seasoning. So I'm just, you just have to be super careful with this, right? So there's about a cap full in here. And I just add a little bit at a time. And you can see right away the change in color. So don't add too much. Like that's probably plenty for what we're looking for. Let's see. I'll we'll add just a drop more. Remember, you can always add more, you can't take it away. All right guys, so we got the gravy going. We have the mashed potatoes on. I'm gonna grab the mushrooms out of the, I was gonna say refrigerator, but out of the oven. And these look amazing. So I'm gonna add a little bit more butter to the mushrooms. It's about a teaspoon. And what that, that's gonna do is help drive a little bit more flavor in there and really get them nice and brown before we add them to the gravy. So key bits to all this is we've seasoned each individual item, okay? We have the seasoned mushrooms, uh, the shreds, and then we have the seasoned gravy. So it all will go well together. This is coming along nicely. What I'm gonna do is put, move the pot over, put it on a really low heat, and then stir it ever so often, right after I add the mushrooms. And this will remain cooking the roux out as I finish the potatoes, and then we start on the tofu pot. When you have enough color on the mushrooms, You're gonna add them right to the gravy. So all of them in. Now that is 
looking ace. It smells absolutely delicious. So I am going to move this to a different burner on low heat. All right, so back to it. Just keeping an eye on the gravy. It's still thickening up, so we might want to add a little bit more water. You just want to watch the consistency of it and make sure it's not going to stick. So while that's still going, I want to prep some of the veg. So we're going to have broccoli with it. I like to just cut down the sides like this. Bite-sized pieces. Trim the, bo the broccoli. Just trim the outer bits off. So there's not much waste. Make sure the bottom is clean and then just dice. That way we're using the whole thing. Just a little bit of oil and this is just gonna be to capture the seasoning. Toss it up. Just a little bit there. Black pepper. Pinch of salt. Check on the gravy. It's really thickening up nicely. So just checking the potatoes that they're, if they're done. So you know the potatoes are done when you can easily break them apart. All right, so that's done. So the potatoes are done. I'm gonna turn off the heat and let them sit here for a minute. But the gravy was thickening up, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the water from the potatoes and just add it right to the gravy. Beautiful. All right, next up is the green beans. So we have the broccoli already on the board here. We are gonna just quickly prep the green beans. The pan is already hot and all I've done is wipe it out a little bit. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of the oil. So after you add the green beans to the, the hot pan, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna just add a pinch of the sage and garlic seasoning just to give that flavor that's gonna run through the whole dish. So these will take a couple minutes. Stir in the gravy. Stir in the gravy, stir in the gravy. In my head, I'm always saying, stir in the gravy. So as you guys have noticed, we have quite a few things going on, so it's good to really pay attention. Potatoes are, are done, we just have to strain those. Gravy's on, low heat, stirring that and watching that. You can make these things separately and bring them all together. I tend, most people tend to cook all at the same time, so. We have the green beans going, that's gonna take a minute. While the green beans are cooking, I'm gonna break apart the tofu. So the smoked tofu, extra firm, as firm as I could possibly get it. And we're just gonna break it apart into bite-sized pieces, like that. And then add it right back to the bowl. Okay, so the green beans should be done. the gravy. So I'm going to strain the potatoes, but before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit more of the water to the gravy. All right, guys, so for the potatoes, take the strained potatoes already and add a good amount of butter. And then I'll add a little bit of the soy. You can use soy milk, almond milk, oatmeal. Unsweetened is key. And then we're just gonna carefully mash these down. I don't add too much of the soy milk yet because I don't want it splattering up, but I wanna see. I wanna mash these down a little bit first. Mm 
I want it a little bit more softer because we're going to let it sit for a minute. A little bit more of the soy. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And whisk that up. Pop a lid on it. Pop it over in the stove. We'll save that for later. All right, moving right along, we're gonna start with the tofu turkey part. So we're gonna do that breading and coating. Uh, first, we are gonna use the cast iron pan. So great thing about the cast iron is it's really just an easy wipe out. So just wipe it from the last time. So we will be using it again. Trash. Just sit this out. Done. So for the tofu. We have the crumbled tofu bits that we used. Now we're gonna make the batter. So I have rice flour. It's like three parts white rice flour and one part regular flour. Uh, Breadcrumbs. So we wanna season this and I'm gonna add a little bit of the, a little bit of parsley to it. So just some, some fresh parsley, chopped. And I want this somewhat fine, so I will take the second to really get it down. Okay. Let me add this right to it. So then for the breading, I'm also going to add a fair amount of the sage and onion garlic seasoning. I'll add a little bit of black pepper, and then I'll add a little bit of the salt. And stir that up good. If you have the gravy on, stir the gravy. So the gravy is just about done. So what I'm gonna do is just turn off the heat and finish what we're doing here, and then we'll just bring it back up to, to temperature before we make do service. All right guys, so for the tofu, I'm gonna add just a little bit of, this is just soy milk. Rather than dipping it into a, a whole vat of uh, liquid, I'm just gonna add it. So that gives it the, a little bit more wetness to start breading it. So I'm just going to add a few pieces here and then toss them. One hand I like to keep clean, the other hand is to roll around in the flour. So this is how we bread it. So you just repeat the process until all of it's coated and laid out on our sheet pan. We have the gravy off. The mashed potatoes are done and covered and ready to go. We're gonna fry off the tofu and then add it to the veg board and then we'll have everything done at the same time, just in time for dinner. We have the tofu ready. Now the next step is to add enough oil so it coats the bottom just a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let me check that that's hot. Okay, the pan's hot enough. I'm just uh, adding right tofu right to it. In the beginning, I don't add too many pieces because I want to make sure that it's up to enough heat. Um, and then on the, I like to distribute on the sides again because the heat from the flame is covering the outside, whereas the middle is the cold part. So we'll cook each piece on each side, covering all sides to make sure it's all cooked evenly around, probably about a minute or so on each side. So when you think it's done on one side, just flip it over. Sometimes I like to bring them all down to the bottom here and then just lift it up. Make sure you get it all. Just watch the heat under your hands. It needs to be hot. So remove the tofu from the hot oil very carefully, placing them on the towel to dry a little bit. And turn the pan to the heat, and then we'll add some more of the tofu. And just repeat the process until the entirety is cooked. So tofu, 
It looks amazing as it is. Right now, it's just like turkey flavored tofu, I guess. I hate even saying that word, turkey flavored, but that's what I'm used to from growing up. So I wanna make sure we're nailing those familiarity, traditional bits to really encourage people to eat less meat. So if you're trying to eat less meat, you guys, this right here is one of the best dishes you can do. So I'm gonna take this, and we have the veg board, right? So if you think of veggies the way I do, we have the tofu ready, so that's the main, right? This is fine to, to roast it a little bit more. The broccoli, we just tossed it raw in a little bit of the oil and the seasonings, and that's gonna come out great. So the florets will get all nice and crispy, and the stalks will cook nicely. We did really do a quick flash fry of the green beans, and now we'll add the tofu right to it. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 10 minutes and we're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna finish the dish now. We have the main parts in the oven. I've just turned on the gravy again just to bring it back up so it's ripping hot. We have the potatoes done, so let's get this plated. So it's been about 10 minutes in the oven. It's looking good. Smells amazing. This gravy is amazing. Just the one good size scoop. Fill up that hole in the potatoes and right over the. Awesome. Amazing. Enjoy, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll look for you at the next episode of the Wicked Kitchen. <laughs> the camera guy hacks this is the hack show <laughs>